Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Airbus Perlin Project 2 to attempt altitude record. Biden White House eyes Mike Whitaker for FAA top job. USAF to retire U-2s in 2026. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Airbus Perlin Project 2 to attempt altitude record. Airbus's Perlin Mission 2 sets out to make important discoveries germane to high-altitude flight, atmospheric phenomena, and alleged climate change. The historic endeavor instantiates the culmination of decades of research conducted by a tireless international team of aviators and scientists who have selflessly volunteered their time and expertise for the nonprofit Perlin Project. The enterprise, based in Minden, Nevada, is supported by Airbus and a group of sponsors. On May 2, 2023, representatives of Airbus's Perlin Mission 2 set forth in a statement that a team comprising expert pilots and engineers had successfully completed a flight test campaign in the U.S., thereby clearing the way for a third quarter 2023 attempt to set a new aviation world altitude record for manned level flight. The pressurized Perlin 2 glider, which in 2018 set the subsonic world altitude record at over 76,000 feet, was shipped from the U.S. on May 1st and is currently en route to El Calafete, Argentina. Upon the aircraft's arrival in South America, the personnel of the Perlin project will attempt to soar the experimental glider over the Patagonian Andes, where atmospheric conditions are optimal to its service ceiling of 90,000 feet. And after the break, new COPA CEO named. Unbridled passion unequaled performance, unlimited possibilities. Hartzell Aviation, you are cleared for takeoff. Introducing Hartzell Aviation, leading general aviation companies united by the Hartzell guiding principle of built on honor, a commitment to uphold the highest standards in quality, performance, and support. Hartzell Propeller, Hartzell Engine Tech, Hartzell Aerospace Welding. We are Hartzell Aviation. Now boarding at HartzellAviation.com. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. New Canadian Owners and Pilots Association CEO named. The Canadian Owners and Pilots Association has named Mark Van Berkel its new Chief Executive Officer. Mr. Van Berkel, who succeeds interim CEO Jim Ferrier, commands a wealth of aviation business and management expertise by which he stands to aid Canada's largest aviation association in carrying out its stated mission, quote, to promote, advance, and inspire general aviation and to preserve the Canadian freedom to fly, end quote. A Calgary native, Van Berkel currently resides in Ottawa, where COPA is headquartered. FAA sued over SpaceX Starship launch. Environmental nonprofits sued the FAA, alleging as one that the agency violated the National Environmental Policy Act by allowing SpaceX to launch its Starship spacecraft, the largest rocket yet hurled spaceward by humankind, from the company's Boca Chica, Texas, Starbase facility. According to court filings, the plaintiffs contend the FAA failed to undertake a, quote, comprehensive environmental review, end quote, of the Starship launch. The lawsuit was filed in Washington, D.C. District Court by the Center for Biological Diversity, the American Bird Conservancy, Surfrider Foundation, Save Rio Grande Valley, and the Carrizo Comicrudo Nation of Texas. Alaska Airlines and Zero Avia Partnership announced. Alaska Airlines has presented one of its retired Dash 8 Q400 regional turboprops to Zero Avia, the British American hydrogen electric aircraft developer. The latter concern will presently retrofit the aircraft with a hydrogen electric propulsion system for purpose of advancing the state of zero emissions flight technology. Upon retiring its Q400 fleet, Alaska Airlines' regional carrier, Horizon Air, set aside one such aircraft for research purposes, specifically research germane to the development of zero emissions aeropropulsion systems. Second Axiom ISS mission delayed indefinitely. Axiom Space's second all-private mission to the International Space Station has been postponed indefinitely. The mission, dubbed AX-2, was planned for May 8, 2023. 
of the cancellation, Axiom Space tweeted, quote, the AX-2 crew is ready for their mission to the space station. While the AX-2 launch is no longer planned for May 8th, our team is working closely with NASA and SpaceX to identify upcoming launch opportunities. More details will be released soon, end quote. Well, that's it for today's Tripper on the Patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Biden White House eyes Mike Whitaker for FAA top job. The Biden administration is eyeing Mike Whitaker, a former Obama-era FAA official, to supersede Phil Washington as its nominee for the FAA administrator position. Whitaker, a lawyer by training, joined the FAA in 2013 as the agency's deputy administrator and chief next-gen officer, a capacity in which he was responsible for modernizing the United States' air traffic control system, a task in which he apparently failed. On Friday, April 21st, acting FAA Administrator Billy Nolan announced in an intra-agency memo that he intends to leave his post within a period of time measurable in months. Mr. Nolan wrote, quote, I have given everything to this agency and now it's time to do the same for my family, who have sacrificed so much and supported me during my time at the FAA, end quote. Nolan's departure will exacerbate the paucity of stable leadership by which the FAA has been afflicted for over a year. According to unnamed persons reportedly familiar with the matter, the leadership gap will likely be bridged by current FAA Chief of Staff Katie Thompson, a one-time Amazon executive whose CV includes stints in the attorney corps of both the FAA and the DOT. And after these messages, USAF to retire U-2s in 2026. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit flyskyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Welcome back. USAF to retire U-2s in 2026. The U.S. Air Force, in accordance with ongoing efforts to reshape the manner in which the service surveils nations, organizations, and persons not supportive of U.S. policy, is proceeding with plans to retire its fleet of storied, high-flying U-2 Dragon Lady spy aircraft in fiscal 2026. For nearly two decades, USAF Brass has bandied about the notion of retiring the U-2, repeatedly prevailing upon Congress to ditch either the Cold War-era workhorse or the RQ-4 Global Hawk drones by which the Dragon Ladies were to be replaced. Comes now 2023 and both platforms are on the chopping block. The newest slate of USAF budget documents acknowledges the service's plan to keep its U-2 fleet airworthy through the end of September 2025, thereafter shifting monies formerly earmarked for U-2 operations to higher priorities. The Air Force set forth that expects Congress to remove legislative language that, in the past, has blocked the retirement of the iconic jets, thereby allowing the service to, quote, move forward with U-2 divestment in fiscal year 2026, end quote. The USAF's 2024 budget request indicates the Dragon Ladies and Global Hawks are to be replaced by orbital ISR systems. The entirety of the Air Force's 27 U-2s are housed at California's Beale Air Force Base. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.